What's going on, YouTube world? It's your boy Thomas, and you are watching Chief and CBD Sessions with your boy. Um, yesterday, I got a package, as you can see right here. We got glass, people. We got glass. No, it's not, you know, a piece. It's not a bong, a pipe, none of that stuff. We got some more flowers today from my dudes over there at, uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, you know, I don't care if you see my shit. It don't matter. Uh, Tweedle Farms, Tweedle Farms. They got, they had this um, limited edition lifter greenhouse that they had on the website a few days ago. I actually think it sold out that same day. Um, but I went ahead, took advantage of it, copped it. Came yesterday. I had to wait to open it so I could do this here video for you guys. Um, what I'm gonna do is, you know, after I get this open up, I'm gonna, you know, do a little comparison video here with. Um, Lifter. So this is from the sample pack that I got before. This is their outdoor lifter. And what's supposed to be in here is their greenhouse lifter strain limited edition with a special glass um, container. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Oh, and you know, it's Friday, y'all. How's everyone's Friday doing? Is it payday for y'all? Good for you. It ain't payday for, for me, but it's my day off. Because I'm going to work this weekend. So, that's cool. I never work weekends, but, hey, it is what it is. What's this? Oh, look, they're going to set me something special. I didn't order none of this, but look at it. Uh, what's that say? Hawaiian Haze. Yo, big ups to Tweedle Farms for hooking me up, yo. Um, And again, I've been talking to uh Jordan. Is that his name? Jordan. I think Jordan over there at Tweedle Farms. You know, really cool guy. Always responding to my emails. Um, any questions I had, they at they answer uh, pretty fast. I ain't got to worry about none of that. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got the lab work, lab results, and this is gonna be for the lifter greenhouse. Again, I know the last video I said I don't care about this shit, but I know some of y'all care about it. So let's see if I can figure this out this time. Let me move this to the side right here. This is the the glass container, you know, vacuum seed and all that. Uh, oh, they wrapped it up with newspaper inside too. Cool. Good, good looking. Good looking. Anyways, back to the paperwork. Let's see here. CBD total. Let's see, I can never find it. CBD total right here. I think this is it. 18.6. No. Yeah, 18.6. Uh, THC, less than, you know, 0.3%. All that good stuff. It's legal. We smoking legal. It's all good. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I got me in my little piece because I'm going to smoke a little something with y'all today. So, I'm going to smoke the the outdoor lifter that they that I have. And then I'm going to smoke the greenhouse lifter. And then we're going to do a comparison between the two. You know, if it's the same, if there's any difference in taste, smell, any of that. Um, so, we're doing that. Oh, you know, I got this big ass. Big ass raw rolling tray from Amazon for like 10 bucks. Yo, I really thought it was gonna be a small one. I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. It was, it was a large. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Um, if you guys want the link for that, I'm gonna go ahead and post that below for the, the tray. Um, also, you know, I didn't say this in my last video, but please, please like, subscribe, comment. All that stuff, it helps me out. It'll help me out, and I appreciate it. I appreciate all the help I can get. Um, but let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. All right. It's a vacuum sealed. Yeah. Ooh, it's tight, man. You know what? I ain't going to use the box plate for that because I don't want to scratch my table. I use my teeth. Teeth. Yeah. Let's get it going. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, you can smell it right outside the bag. Right outside the bag. It's got the little bubble wrap on here too. You know. Let's take off this newspaper. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is like an ad for like gloves. Y'all need gloves? No, you don't. These are like the ster sterile gloves? I don't know. These are like gardening gloves. <laughs> get that shit out of here. Oh, man. The strong is getting... Oh my god. Look at that. 
Take a look at that. that can, can y'all take? Can you see that? That looks nice. 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 That looks a lot more than an ace. Look at look at what's in there. Oh, they got the little moisture pack in there. That's what's up. Look at that. It says right here. Lift dirt. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Lift dirt. And it's number number uh, one fifteen out of what is that? Two thirty eight. One fifteen out of two thirty eight. Man, it smells nice. It smells really good. Like I can smell it. Woo! Mmm. Stinky. Stinky. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. My goodness, my goodness. Let's take this out. Let's take a look at this. This is mmm. Mm. Like I like that smell when it smells like a like a cheesy smell, like really nice and cheesy. Man. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see that? Look at that. Something fell out, but it's cool. It looks nice. Okay. Get this. Get that right there. I'm gonna show you this mug right here. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? It's blurry, huh? There we go. Look how nice that is. It's frosty too, and also with the little foxtails on there. Not a lot, but it's really frosty. Like, it's real fro frosty. If I can get some better pictures, I'll, you know, post them in, in the video. Um, but if not, it's cool. Y'all, y'all know it's frosty. It looks nice. You got little, little bushes. Little bushes. Little bushes. I like, I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. And this smell, yo, this smell is, man, it's really good. It's really good. They did a good job with this. Shout out to these dudes at Tweedle Farms, you know, for doing this. I really like the glass. Like, I kind of don't even want to smoke it. I just want to keep it like this just so I can have it on display. But I got to. I got to. So let's see. Let's take a look at the... Outdoor lifter. Let me pop that open right here. You know, it's kind of funny because this, the smell in this one, it smells really, it smells sweet. Like a, can, like a candy smell, kind of like a, but it smells good though. And then, let's take a look. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at this. Look at this. Can you see that? Like, this is the outdoor and it still looks fire. Like it looks really good. Now let's see. We do a little comparison. Open this guy up. Give me a nice little little nug. Yeah, let's, let's grab this guy right here. This guy. So I'm not sure if y'all can see that. Of course, this one is a little lighter, lighter green. Ooh. Ooh, see, you can see, you see the frost on there? You see the frost on there, boy? Look how frosty that is, man. Look at those little trichomes. Trichomes, bro. Now, let's take a look at this guy. See, this is just a little darker. But look at it. It is nice. That is a beautiful nug. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's really nice. I like, I like that. I like that. Again, big ups to Jordan and the whole Tweedo Farms family for uh, hooking me up. Oh, I almost mixed it up. Nope, we're not going to do that. Take you out. We're going to put you back in your little package. Your little outdoor. Outdoor. We're going to leave a little nug out right here. And another little nug out from here. Because we're going to do a little taste test comparison. Smell if, you know, if it smells the same when you break it down a little bit. Come on, get out of it. All right. Cool. So how's everyone's day going so far? As for me again, it's my day off. I'm doing good. Nobody's home. I just dropped off the little one to school. The wife is at work. And since she at work, I'm going to go ahead and spark this up in the house. She don't like when I smoke in the house. She don't, actually, she don't allow me to smoke in the house. But wife ain't here. So we're going to smoke in the house just for y'all. I'm going to get in trouble for y'all. Appreciate that. Because I'm pretty sure by the time she gets home, if I don't clean up the house... Yeah, you know, you know, if you if you guys go, you guys out there know relationships, if you're married or if y'all living together, if your wife or your girl is working and you at home and you don't clean the house, 
well, for me anyways, and all the other class relationships I've been in, they're going to bitch at you. They're going to complain. They're going to nag. They're going to complain about any little thing. So it's best to, you know, just pick up. If you pick up a little bit, it ain't going to matter because they're going to notice everything else that's still a mess. So you got to, you know, make it really nice and clean. So I don't know if I'm going to do that today. Should I? I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like getting yelled at today, yo. I don't feel like getting yelled at today. But this is what we're going to do again. I'm going to smoke both of them. And I'm going to give you my thoughts. I really, I like this. I like this a lot. I like that. But you know what? Since they sent me this, I might as well open this guy up too and um see what see what it's all about. And come on, baby. Again, everything's vacuum sealed. You can't smell nothing in the package. Oh look, it looks like we got some more stuff in here. Wait, let me put this to the side. Grab this. This is oh the notice to law enforcement to say suck my dick. This shit is legal. I don't care what you say. Legal in 50 states, I can smoke it. Again, I'm not sure if you carry this with you. If you if you get popped, if this will work. I don't know if the cops have their own testing kit. You know, they got the little zip up bags that they put the little acid. I don't know what they put in there, but I see on the TV shows they flick the bag and it turns like pink for like cocaine or some shit like that. I don't know if they can do that with the with this, if they can test for THC. But if they do and it comes out, it's no THC. Fuck you, bruh. Fuck you. <laughs> we smoking. What's this? Thank you for supporting our small business. Thank you for hooking me up. I appreciate it. Plant this in your garden and keep it moist. Watch it grow. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Y'all see that? It says right there. Plant this in your garden. Keep it moist and watch it grow. I'm actually interested to see what it's going to grow into. Good way of keeping it green, yo. I like that. Okay. And then, of course, Tweedle Farms sticker. Sticker. And then, oh, look at that. Lifter CBD. Um, I know they did collab with uh, some artists that made this logo for them. I can't think of the name right now, but this is really nice. He did a good job. Big ups to him, um, to whoever the artist is. My bad, you know, I don't remember. I didn't pay attention. I'm sorry. Um, but this is nice. I like that An extra sticker. You know, I might just put it on here. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna put it somewhere else. All right. Now back to the Hawaiian haze that they sent me. I really, I really wasn't expecting that. So again, thank you guys. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay. Now this doesn't have no smell at all. Not in here. Not outside. The lifter had a really funky smell. Really funky smell. Let me put this shit aside right here. Let's open this up. Now, again, we got this type of packaging. I didn't have really good luck with it the last time. I had a hard time getting it open. I wonder how much is in here. It feels pretty packed, packed down. It doesn't say either how much is in here. I don't know what this is. It's like a little five right there. I'm not sure if that means five grams or I don't know. All I know is that it's a wine haze. I've never tried that either. I don't know if this is... Outdoor, indoor, any of that. But let's pop it up. And you see that? I had no trouble this time. It's, oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> no, no, no. See, I had no trouble. I had no trouble. Oh, boy. Oh, man. I could just live in this. That's a strong aroma. I'm surprised I didn't smell that in the vacuum cell or even outside the bag. Because once you open this, that shit just hits you. Oh, man. Hawaiian haze. And you know what? I, they ain't give me no paperwork on the Hawaiian haze, so I'm going to have to look that up once I'm done with this. And... Man. This has like a little grape, grapey smell. Like, I get hints of grape. And again, of course, you get that funky cheese smell that I just love. Mmm. Mm. Well, that's a lot. I don't know how much that is. Could that be more than an eighth? I don't know. What do y'all think? That's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. And these look nice. These look nice. These look nice. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Again, we got little bushes. 
Real bushes. Can y'all see that? Come on, baby. Focus for me. Focus for me, baby. Come on. It's not one to focus. Anyways, these are nice little. Look at this. Look how dense that is. This is a little dense nug. Mm. You know, let me break it down. Just one of these down for you. See how it smells. Oh, man. This is stinks. That's good, though. Mmm. Like that whole cheese smell that I was smelling earlier. When I first opened it, that's stronger now. And then, and then, and then, of course, there's that grape smell. This, like, really makes me want to put this shit in a swisher. But I don't smoke swishers no more. I don't use, um, either my little one-hitter pipe and hemp wraps if I got any on me. And I don't got none, so... I might just do another video just on this itself, but for now we're gonna focus on the lifter. So let me go ahead and put this back. Again, thank you guys for hooking me up with the Hawaiian Haze. I look forward to trying this. I will try to get a video up of my thoughts and all that good stuff. And we'll keep it going from there. Um, a little background on me, though. I know I didn't explain much um, in the first video. Y'all know my name's Thomas. So again, this is the this is this one right here. I'm gonna try the outdoor lifter first. Outdoor. Anyways, back to me. Name's Thomas. Thirty-two. Four kids. Full-time job. Um, of course, married. All that good stuff. Got my own house. Recently, we bought our own house about um, two years ago. So everything's good. Everything's good. Health wise, uh, not so good. Well, you know, it's a little better. You know, last year, actually last December, so right before 2019, 2018 December, I was uh, diagnosed with uh, type two diabetes. Your boy wasn't eating right. You know, I ate junk every day. That was that was me. So, you know, I went to the doctor because, you know, my feet was feeling numb every now and again. I thought it was because, you know, I worked all the time. I'm on my feet constantly walking back and forth, delivering all that. All the supplies. I work for a hospital, by the way. I deliver all the supplies to surgery, to the surgery department or throughout the hospital. Anyways, long story short, went to the doctor, did the blood work. She told me, oh, you're full-blown diabetic. Full-blown diabetic, type 2 diabetes. She said your pancreas is dead and all that. All that, you know, fucked up shit. You know, didn't even try to sugarcoat it. None of that. She straight told me, if you don't get yourself fixed, you're going to die. You're going to have a stroke. You're going to have heart problems. All this stuff. Um, my A1C, which is what they use to, um, which is what they measure, I guess, in your blood, uh, was a 14. Now, on the charts, it only goes as high as 13. So me being a 14, it was probably even higher. They said it was really unreadable, detectable, how high it really was. Um, that That's a scary number. Scary number. So, you know, me, I was in denial and all that stuff. Nobody wants to hear they're sick, you know? Anyways, they put me on this metformin stuff. I didn't have to take none of the insulin, thank God, because I hate needles. Even though I got tattoos all over me. Not all over me, but a few tattoos on my arms and stuff like that. Anyways, um, I was taking the metformin, and these things were strong, yo. They was really strong. Um, they would make me feel sick to my stomach. Sick to my stomach. Now, remember, I started doing this towards the end of December. Um... January, February, March is when I, I stopped taking it. I couldn't, I couldn't take the feeling anymore. I hated it. I felt depressed. I was sad. Um, I had the shits. My vision was starting to get blurry. I'm not sure if that's because of, you know, me being diabetic, which it probably is or was, is, whatever. But I didn't like the way the metformin made me feel. So I stopped taking it and I started looking into this. Hold up. Let me take a hit of this real quick. Ooh, that's good. That tastes good. I like that. Anyways, 
March, I stopped taking the metformin. I looked into this whole uh, Dr. Sebi thing. And if y'all know or heard of him, Dr. Sebi's a, a herbalist doctor that, you know, uh, claimed to have cured AIDS, cancer, herpes, diabetes, any type of disease that your body might have due to mucus in the body, inflammation from foods that you eat. He can cure it through natural herbs. So I started looking into that and stopped taking the metformin, went ahead and did all my research that I had to. Basically, um, I started fasting, which is one of the, you know, uh, practices that he, that he did was he would fast and then take these herbs, um, you know, and that's it. He wouldn't, have, he wouldn't eat. I think he had gone, I think, 42 days without eating or something like that before he, you know, did eat. And then when he did eat, it was clean. It was green. Um, I can't do that. I tried it. I fasted. I fasted here and there for a good minute. But I was still taking the capsules that were inspired by Dr. Sabre. I couldn't get it from his website because there's a lot of background things going with that. And so I wasn't comfortable. So I went ahead and got some stuff from Etsy. Um, basically, uh, most, um, uh, minerals, bladder rack. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Sea moss, bladder rack, and then, um, a diabetic, you know, remedy that he had, which had like dandelion root and all kinds of this other natural herbs. Anyways, long story short, I've been taking that. I fast, started changing my whole diet. I went to the doctor a few, a month ago and, uh, Oh man, this is really smooth. You know, you can like feel the effects just hitting my body. Like I feel like a little tingly going through my face. Tingly feeling going through my face. Like I'm trying to feel a little relaxed. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So I went to the doctor. They I did the blood work and all that stuff. A1C came back at a 5.8. Which on the chart, 5.8 is pre-diabetic. So... For me, changing my diet and taking those pills, stop taking the metformin that made me feel like shit. I got my A1C to go down from a 14, which is extremely high, extremely high, borderline, about to be six feet deep, to a 5.7, which is such a crazy, crazy um, improvement. Even the doctors, doctors, even the doctor was asking me, like, oh, what'd you do? I've never seen any type of results like this before. And I didn't want to tell them because I know how doctors are. They don't like, they want you to take their stuff because they want you to keep putting money into them. So I just, you know, say, I just changed my diet up and, you know, I've been taking the metformin, you know, but I wasn't. Um, but I've been, I'm feeling a whole lot better, yo. Like, I don't feel, I don't get that numbness in my feet like I used to anymore. Like, it comes and goes. Um, but recently I've been having these crazy, um, anxiety attacks and, you know, need I remind you, I used to smoke, you know, just regular bud and I came to the point to where that is what was triggering my anxiety attacks. So I got to the point to where I didn't like feeling high and I stopped getting it, but I wanted to feel relaxed. I didn't want to take the, the Zannies that they gave me before, you know, having these anxiety attacks. Man, this taste is awesome. I can't wait till I get to try the greenhouse. Oh, yeah. Well, back to that. that I'm sorry. I'm like prolonging this, talking about myself. Let me get back to this really quick. It feels amazing. The taste is like, a, for what it smells like, you know, like I said, the sweet, the sweet smelling with the, the, the outdoor and, you know, you get that cheese smell. Um, it tastes really piney. Really piney, but on the exhale, you get that, that cheesy smell. And I like that. I don't get no hints of the grape, though. I, I would love to, to taste that. I really would. But, you know, for the most part, this is really good. I like this. So, yeah, I've been having these crazy anxiety attacks. I didn't want to take the Zannies that they, you know, prescribed me. I don't like to take anything that's a drug. That's from, you know, pharmaceutical things. Because I feel like the more they give you, the more hooked you're going to get on it. And then you're going to want something stronger. 
and I don't I don't want to be that that guy, and I don't want to be giving putting my money into something that's really slowly killing you, poisoning your body inside, versus you know something that's natural. So I'm doing the whole natural thing, the Dr. Sebi capsules, it's all natural herbs, and then the flour. Again, they're not actually Dr. Sebi capsules because I'm buying from a third party from Etsy. Um, and if you guys want some more information on that, let me know. I could, you know, post the link in, you know, in the comments. I'm not sure if that's something you guys would be interested to, interested in. Um, before anyone that is sick, you know, that that is diabetic or any other type of illness, and you're looking into that, look it up. Look it up. Just go on YouTube or even Google. Just put like, oh, Doctor Sebi cancer cure. Doctor Sebi. You know, diabetics cure. And you'll find so much information. And I really would suggest, I strongly suggest, you know, if you're feeling sick, any type of way, if you have any type of illness, to look look into it. Look into it. And give it a shot. You never know. It might work for you. I'm not sure if it works for everybody. It, it's working for me. And I love it. So I'm going to keep rolling with it until I get my A1C below a 5.6, which is no longer diabetic. So that's that's the goal. I still gotta, you know, eat better. I, I eat junk here and there. I'm working on that. It's kind of hard, you know. I was a, I was a really big guy. I was 300 something pounds. I'm down now to what 225. So I'm doing good. I'm making great progress, but I'm only gonna get better. Um, and if you guys want me to do uh, videos on my journey, I could do that too. I'm, I'm really an open book nowadays, and if I can help y'all, why not? Why not? Back to the anxiety and, you know, the CBDs. So I've been, um, again, I had these crazy anxiety attacks. The first time I had an anxiety attack, I legit thought I was going to die. I thought I was having a heart attack and stroke. I just felt so many different types of emotions. I didn't know what was going on with me. I uh, went to the hospital and the lady was like, oh, you're just having an anxiety attack. Sit down and take deep breaths. I'm like, bitch. The fuck you talking about anxiety attack? I am dying. Get me into a fucking room. Get me to a doctor. Have him look at me. I need help. No, sit down, young man. You are just having an anxiety attack. If you never had one before, then I can see why you feel this way. Like, I was really mad that she made me sit down and take deep breaths. Yet alone, that didn't work. That didn't work. I had to get back up. I was like, look, lady, I am dying. And you're telling me to fucking sit down? With all these people around me coughing and sneezing and all this bullshit, they're dying too. I need help. They need help, but I need help because I'm dying. I'm about to croak on the floor. And I fucking work here. I work here. So I want some special treatment, which I didn't get. Which, it, it's a good thing because then, you know, the other people that were there before me, I'm pretty sure if they would have told me go right in without coming in at some type of ambulance or something, they would have got mad and be like, oh, how come this guy got here just now and he's going right in? Oh, and they'd be like, oh, he works here. Well, that don't matter. It shouldn't matter. So... I appreciate that. I, I, I see, you know, the good reason behind it. It's cool. But I was, your boy was dying. I was dying. And that's the point. But I didn't die. They get me in, you know, the doctor was like, oh, have you ever had, you know, are you stressing out on anything? And I'm like, no, not really. I'm doing really good. Mind you, this is after I got my good results back from the doctor about me being, you know, a lot better. So I was in a really good state. I wasn't worried about me being diabetic anymore at that, at that moment. I'm sorry, y'all. This is going to be a long video. We're already at 28 minutes, going on 30. But if you guys, you know, if, if you're still watching, thank you. I really appreciate it. If you like my story or if my story is intriguing to y'all, thank you. I really do appreciate you guys staying on here with your boy and all that good stuff. Again, like and subscribe. Click below or click the little bell thing. I don't know where it's at. It's on the right side when you're watching on the computer on the phone. Go ahead. Click that button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to talk about, what you want to hear, and I'll try to do my best to get to you. Anyways, let me go ahead and ask this guy out. It's done. And let's get back to the greenhouse. Lift that. Again, ooh, this straight just got that skunky, cheesy smell. No great fruity smell like the outdoor. It's kind of crazy how, how that works. I don't know why I do that. Okay, anyways, and oh man, that smells even more like a really rotten, cheesy type of smell. Like, I don't even smell skunkiness anymore, but this smells, this smells, 
Like, I really wish I can eat this. Like, if I could get some type of seasoning and put it, like, I don't know, like on a hot dog or something, that's kind of weird, huh? I would do that, though. I really would. I really would. Of course, that's to be like a vegan hot dog. <laughs> Y'all, like, this motherfucker's crazy. He, he said vegan hot dog. Yes, I said vegan hot dog. They got him out there. Look. I'm trying not to eat, you know, all these nasty meats. I try to stick to chicken only. I try to stay away from red meats because they say it's really bad for you and all that stuff. And you really don't know what these people are putting in these animals before they butcher them. Or even after they butcher them and all that shit. Anyways, this, just breaking this down. This is a really nasty, funky, cheesy smell. Alright, so anyways, I had my panic attack, my anxiety attack, and... The doctor, you know, gave me a zany. At the at that moment, I was like, I don't want to take that. I don't want to take that. He's all, well, you got to. And I was like, well, no, I'm not taking it. And so he's all right, fine, you know, I'll let you relax for a little bit. So I stayed in the room for about a good 30 minutes. Then my anxiety attack started to come back. So I went ahead, you know what, go ahead and give me the fucking Xanax. I took it, calmed me down. I felt good, went home. And um, went to sleep. Ooh. Anyways, the next day I had another attack, and I was like, "Man, I can't. I don't like this feeling." If you ever had an anxiety attack, you got you already know that is like the worst feeling you can you can have. It's like you really don't know what's wrong with you. Like it could be multiple symptoms. Like for me, my whole body went numb, went numb, and then my breathing was racing. I could hear my heart beat crazy, like crazy, crazy. And I, like I said, I legit thought I was dying. I was like, "Lord, is gonna take me." And I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna be around my babies no more. And you know, I really, I was sad. Um, so I had to take another Zanny, y'all. And I, as much as I hated it, I didn't want to do it. And so the next day, I started looking online for any type of home remedies on how to, you know, um, calm myself down. And I, you know, I had a really good buddy at work. I have a good buddy at work, and you know, he's talking to me about meditation. Um, I haven't done that yet, but Brandon. I am going to start looking into that. But for now, the CBD is doing the trick for me. Um, so I, I looked around and I found, you know, CBD. Um, there's like a little dispensary here in town and they have CBD flour and I tried it. It did nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. If anything, I feel like it was raising, it was uh, triggering my anxiety again. Um, so I went on YouTube and I saw all these videos of people reviewing from these different companies. Um, and Twilio Farms was one of them. So I went ahead and I, I bought some. And I tried, what strain was it? I forgot what strain it was, but I felt amazing, yo. Like, I was relaxed. I was calm. And I was able to go to sleep without feeling anxious because at that time I was really like I was scared to go to sleep because 